Guys, so look at this little thing right here. This little pad, look, my hand fits here. My hands go here. His mouth goes here. His mouth might go here. We have a problem, people. Target practice is probably one of the scariest things for some people to learn the hard way. What I'm saying is, is giving your dog a solid target will keep them from biting, nibbling, cutting, breaking a finger, tearing a finger, chewing on you by accident. I've been bit, Jamarcus been bit, Stan been bit. We didn't all got bit by Tron. Heck, our kennel partner, she came out there to play with him one day and we saw in slow motion, he bit her wrist, but he's smart enough to know when it's flesh versus this pad. So in this episode, I'm gonna walk you through three things you should be mindful of when getting your dog to do bite work and how to teach them targeting, where to bite and how not to bite you. Now, what you just watched or what you're going to see is Tron's all over the place. And when he's all over the place, hit me in the chest, cut me on my side. He's borderline getting at the edge of the pillow. So even look where he's got the, the, the pillow bit right now. He's at the very edge. Well, you want to make sure you get him as close to the middle as possible. Because I repeat, Tron bites hard. Stan can tell you that. Jamarcus can tell you that. When they have that suit on, they be like, Tron's getting in there, Trev. Now, I'm not gonna put the suit on. Hey, cut it out. It's a brand new pillow. <laughs> but what you don't wanna do, as a matter of fact, what you do wanna do is really teach a dog like this. Matter of fact, let me tell you this. This is where we went wrong. Sit. This is where we went wrong, people. We didn't, we haven't done any luring any type of teaching Tron about how his body works or how to think. Now he's thinking on his own and he is a thinker, which is a good sign for us. And he's smart enough to know, again, we've got real life clips where he's bitten people and it's not on purpose. He's literally just trying. I mean, just walking out here, he got me on the back of my right elbow, just jumping up. Like, ah, ah, ah. You don't want that. The person that you, that you, you want to react in violence, to be clear, when your dog nips you or loses control. But as a person who's done bite work for years, it's my fault. So now we've got to re clean him up is what we call it. We're going to clean him up. But if you want to make sure your dog, again, targets well, just take a look at this. Try and sit. Stay. Work. Give him a good target. <laughs> now he's in the middle. Now he's in the middle. Came right at me. Good boy. Good boy. Let him reset. Get him some pulls in. Walk him down a little bit. Grab his hand. Still not letting go. Tron still doesn't know what to do. And to a degree, he beyond a reasonable doubt is, I I'm saying this, don't take this too far dangerous to the uneducated or unwilling to play rough. When you put on football pads, more than likely you know you're gonna get hit. Now objectively, who wanna go out there and just get wax, that Madden hit stick? Nobody wants that. It could happen to any of us. So, when you're dealing with a dog and you're doing my stuff, guys, Nala did this to me, you're going to get bit. It's inevitable. Targeting, teaching your dog where to bite, how to bite, how hard to bite, praising them when they bite good, when they bite in. That in itself is an extensive process. And mind you, we're just warming up. So what you're gonna see is try and get cleaned up. He's gonna bite cleaner. He's gonna know what to do. He's gonna wait for direction because even again, when we're coming out here and he's jumping up and he's getting at me, he's a pup, AKA a kid who just wants to play. And he doesn't know that I'm in control of everything. Has a good idea, because he's got some clean outs. He'll drop it if I tell him to drop it. But I really want to sharpen this kid up whew, to the best of my abilities. It's warm out here. As you see, Trons went to the shade. It's cooking like a Thanksgiving turkey. We want to do three good rounds. Also, never work your dog when the dog gets too tired or if it's too hot. Just like an athlete, when sloppy reps begin to take place, you add a higher risk for injury. Guys, T-Fit here, Fit Bully TV. Like, subscribe, share, take care of your dogs. We're going to do some more things in increments as we continue to try to motivate you to get out and just have a little bit more fun with your dog. 
That pillow is from Redline K9. We have a lot of those pillows and more coming. Have fun.